Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Marianne. Um, I recorded this look today using the entire Lovesick stack by Melt Cosmetics um, and a dark burgundy plum sort of colored lip. And uh, I apologize, I don't know where this wig is from, but I felt like having dark hair today, plus my natural hair is very messy, so I thought a wig would be appropriate. Uh, this hat is from American Eagle, and the little bow on it is from Ardennes. Um, so if you like this look, it's got a double wing as well, and lots of eyelashes, <laughs> then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm using is my Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in pink which I'm putting over any areas that are shadowy on my face, so mostly underneath my eyes and also down the center of my face, just anywhere I want to bring more light to, and then blending it out with my BH Cosmetics Beauty Blender. Then I'm grabbing my MAC Waterweight Foundation in NC20 and just applying that all over my already primed and moisturized skin, and then again blending it out with the same purple beauty blender. Then I'm grabbing my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC15 and I'm pretty much going over those same areas that I did with the uh, color correcting fluid um, but as you can see I need a little bit of extra help under my eyes and then again I wanted to bring more lightness to the center of my face and also along my jawline. So anywhere I just want to bring out and highlight a little bit more. I blended it all out and now I'm setting my face with my Makeup Forever Loose Powder, which is the pink tinted one, um, which again just makes the skin a little bit more glowy. And I'm grabbing my uh, big fluffy brush, the brand is Icing, I got it at Claire's Boutique, which is like a cheap accessory and makeup store, but the brush is actually pretty good. Uh, and then I'm grabbing my Smashbox Bronzer in Suntan Matte, which you can see I've used a lot. I will need a new bronzer eventually, but for now this one is working out fine. And that brush you saw there is the Bare Minimal Minerals Contour Brush. So I'm just contouring the hollows of my cheeks. Um, I'll go in and do my forehead underneath my chin. There's my forehead there. And also, I will use my finger and just contour the sides of my nose and underneath to give myself a cute little round tip. So next I'm going in, again, it's the same brand icing from Claire's Boutique, <laughs> super close up, and I'm just blending out that contour, especially on the sides of my nose, so I don't just have two lines down the sides of my nose. And again, I'm just going around the tip to make it look a little bit more turned up. So next, I'm grabbing a Sephora brand matte black. I think the color is laced, but I will write the description down below uh, just to make sure that is the color. And an angled brush from Quo, which is another cheaper pharmacy brand. And I'm just filling in my brows. Since I did wear a dark wig, I thought a black brow would go nicely with it. So I'm just filling in the natural shape, starting by lining underneath, and then going along the natural arch of my brows, and just filling them in and darkening them out. And adding a little bit of extra tail since my eyebrow was pierced and the hair long, no longer grows at the end. And magically we have two eyebrows. So I'm gonna grab my soft ochre paint pot to prime my eyelids. And I'm doing the top and the bottom and then also going in with my, I think it's CoverGirl Fabulash. Again, I'll link the products down below, but it's just a clear mascara to set my brows. Then with my Urban Decay Naked palette and the brush that comes with the palette, I'm grabbing the shade Naked as my transition shade. So just a really nice 
neutral beige color which I'm popping into the crease and bringing downwards a little bit onto the lid but just to make sure my darker eyeshadows blend together nicely and I'm bringing that same shade down onto my lower lid. So then with my Melt Lovesick stack which I will take out and show you so they're really cool they're like a magnetic stack which you've probably already seen all over YouTube those are all the colors. I'm going to go in with the first shade Lovesick which is a gorgeous deep cranberry red. It's completely matte. It's very pigmented and I really love this shade. So I'm putting that into the socket and down over the crease and slightly onto the outer V of my lid and just blending it out so it's really nice and diffused. And then going in with a the smaller tip of the same brush it's fluffy at one end and like a pencil tip at the other end I just went in and darkened up the socket on both eyes. Then in the shade Amelie, which is a beautiful duochrome gold peachy color, I'm using another one of my brushes from Icing. They came in a cute little set. This is a smaller fluffy brush and I'm putting it onto the inner corner, the inner V, and just about to the center of the lid. And then I'm taking the larger end of that two-sided brush, which is from BH Cosmetics, and just blending the two shades together. Then again with the fine point of that same BH Cosmetics brush, I'm grabbing the shade Fixated, which is a really fun, unusual, matte, kind of steel gray blue. And I'm drawing in the first part of my wing, uh, just along where I put down that first red lovesick shade, and then blending it again in, onto the outer V of my eye, and just creating a shadow wing with that color and then blending it out with the fluffy end of the BH Cosmetics brush. So I did the same thing on both eyes. I'm starting with that shadow wing <laughs> and then I'm going to line my eyes with my matte uh, NYX liquid eyeliner which I love. For the price it's one of the best eyeliners that I've found so I'm following that shadow wing to start and then I'm going to go in and place a thin line on my upper lashes. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I have this particular way of doing my eyeliner, um, which makes it so you can actually see it on my hooded eyes. But I don't wind up covering up all of the eyeshadow that I put down. So I do a super thin line across my lashes, and then I do my wing quite low. So there, through the power of video editing, I have both eyes lined. And then I'm just going to go in with the last shade, which is Promiscuous, which is a slightly satiny um, purple shade. And I'm going to go in and create my second wing, starting by lining my lower lashes. And then I'm leaving a little space in between where I put down the NYX eyeliner and the Promiscuous shade. So I'm leaving a little space in between those two wings. And I went in and did the same thing on the other eye. Then grabbing this white coal pencil from Makeup Forever, I'm filling in the space that I left to create that double wing effect. And it also sort of opens the eyes up, which I find really nice, especially for people who have more hooded eyes. Um, it's nice to make them look a little bit larger and more awake. Um, and then I'm just grabbing a matte white uh, eyeshadow, which is also from Makeup Forever, but any matte white eyeshadow will do, or even a shimmer shadow. It's really just to set that cool pencil. And then I'm going to go in with some highlight. This is MAC Double Gleam. It's a really pretty um, gold champagne type highlighter. And I'll go in and highlight all the high points of my face, which I already brought out a little bit with my concealer and my color correcting fluid but I just wanted a little bit of extra glow and extra shimmer, which is super in vogue right now. <laughs> so I'm going in tops of my cheekbones, nose above my eyebrows, Cupid's bow, I like to do my chin as well. And then using that same matte white eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in and highlight the brow bone. 
and I don't actually remember what brush I used. I think it might have been the uh, the one from the Urban Decay palette. Um, so this blush is from NARS. It's called Gulu. It was actually a free Sephora sample. It's a really pretty mauve color. It's uh, more of a subtle blush, uh, but I like it a lot. <laughs> So then it's time to curl my lashes. This is my Lancome eyelash curler and my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, which is a pharmacy brand, but it makes my eyelashes really dark and fluffy. And this has always been one of my favorite mascaras. Then with my Duo Eyelash Glue and a set of eyelashes, which I'm sorry, I don't remember where I got them, but they are a just a cheap pharmacy brand. They're nice and thick. I have no idea where I got them. And then I'm just popping them onto the top lid and then pressing them together so that they stick to my natural lashes. And I did the same thing on both eyes, of course. So there are my eyelashes done. Then I went in with some single eyelashes. Those are also from Claire's. I'll put the exact brand uh, down below in the description. Um, but they're just a cheaper single lash. And I put them along my bottom lash line. And what I did was put five on either side. And I used the shortest ones that there were in the pack. There were three different lengths of single eyelashes. So I just tried to get as close to the lash line as I could with those. So there is the finished look with the single eyelashes. I love lower eyelid false lashes. I think they're super cute. Uh, so then this is a plum lip liner from Revlon and I'm just going to go in and line along my natural lip line. I'm not overlining for this look since there's already quite a bit going on with it. So I just went all the way around. And there are my lips before I fill them in. And then to fill them in I'm taking my Makeup Forever number 48 which is a dark plum shade which I described at the beginning of the video. And I'm just going in and filling out where there isn't any lip liner. So this is a more of a glossy lipstick. It definitely transfers quite a bit, but it's nice and opaque and I love the color. So this is just a dollar store sticker. I thought it would be fun to add a little bit of unusual jewelry or a look that I don't normally have. And then I added this adorable little toque, which I love, which again is from American Eagle, and the little bow is from Ardennes. <laughs> so that is the look. Of course, you don't have to do the double wing and all the false lashes and the little sticker jewelry if you want to keep the look more simple. Um, you could totally just do the Love Six stack and then mascara or however you want to do it. Um, but I just thought this was a fun look and I really like eyelashes. So um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video. You can also find us on Instagram at the Power Pout Girls and we'll see you in the next, <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Bye.